Hey there, is today your first time here? Or maybe your first time in a while? If so, maybe you're wondering exactly who we are and what this church is all about. Well, we'd like you to know that we're a group of ordinary people who are on an amazing journey together, following Christ. Our guide is the Bible because it's the divinely inspired Word of God and it will never take us in the wrong direction. Along the way, we hope you'll see that we are welcoming and spiritually passionate and that getting to know you is a big deal to us. We know that the road is rough sometimes, but we'll work really hard to bring you practical and relevant messages to equip and encourage you through life's ups and downs. We want you to know that we care about this community and we believe that it's our job to make it a better place. So no matter who you are or where you've been, we're glad you're here with us today. And we hope that you'll join us on our journey, following Christ and living out His plan for us. So welcome to church and Merry Christmas. Well, good morning, everyone. Morning. Welcome to the Salvation Army Tufts and Ranch Church. We're a church for all people from all generations, as you saw with the percussionists. They were great, weren't they? Give them another hand, please. You know, uh, Jesus said it on many occasions, don't stop the little children from coming unto me, for we need to become like a child in order to inherit the kingdom of God. And Jesus, God's gift to humanity, came in the form of a child in a manger more than 2,000 years ago in a little town in Bethlehem. And it came as a rescue plan for all of humanity. We are glad that you are with us this morning. We're glad that you have chosen to join us in worship. In this house, God's grace extends to all people. In this house, our God is a God of forgiveness and love and mercy. And I'm so glad you have chosen to be here with your family on a work day in Southern California. So let me share a prayer with you. And we're going to enjoy in celebration with music, with song, maybe a little bit of dance. You can contribute that part. But we are glad you're joining us this morning. Heavenly Father, we thank you for Simply Christmas. We thank you for the profound impact Christmas has across the world. As people sing Christmas carols, as they give Christmas cheer, as they exchange presents and do all sorts of ways to celebrate the greatest gift of all humanity was your coming to this earth to give us life and give us freedom and give us the opportunity to live differently. My prayer this morning, God, is that all of my friends and family that have gathered in this house will experience and encounter you again and know that you are real and know that you want to make a difference in our lives and give us hope for a better tomorrow. I pray your blessing upon us this morning in Jesus' precious and holy name. Amen. Amen. Now, you have permission to have fun today, right?
And the angel said to them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Saviour, who is Christ the Lord. The Greek word here for great joy is mega, which means exceedingly, large, loud and mighty. It's exceptional to the greatest degree. It is truly unparalleled, outstanding, matchless. It is unrivaled and supreme in absolutely every way. It is without equal, the most excellent of excellent. It is incomparable and it brings us true joy. The shepherds hear the angel's proclamation and indeed are filled with both awe and joy. They are mere shepherds, considered by some as the lowest of the low. But the angel comes to no one else but them and gives them the news of a momentous event, the birth of the Messiah. Filled with joy, they race down the hills into the town, find the stable and manger, and kneel before the Christ child. Today we light the candle of joy. Joy is an emotion of exaltation that comes from a new realization, an event of blessing, a state of blessedness. And surely the shepherds feel that. But as the years progress and they tell the story to their children's children, the sense of wonder and joy remains. An angel has spoken to them. Today our joy is anchored in the knowledge that God has fulfilled his promise. Jesus has come. It is important for us to remember that the joy we have in Jesus is not seasonal or situational. Our joy is a response to what God has already done and what he continues to do. Jesus, God in the flesh, came down from heaven to earth to pay for our sins on a cross and repair our broken relationship with God by bringing us in right standing with him. We did this so we can live eternally with him in heaven. Salvation is a free gift. We don't have to work for it. All we have to do is believe in Jesus and his saving work with our whole hearts. Now, that is true joy. Jesus is simply joy.
Merry Christmas, church family. I'm Kat. And what's up, y'all? I'm Joshua. And together, we're so excited to worship with you on this third day of Advent. We'd love to meet you, especially if this is your first time here. Would you please go to satrconnect.org so we can connect with you this week? Joshua, whose birthday do we celebrate in December? Uh, Jesus. That's right, Joshua. In the same spirit of celebrating birthdays, did you know that you can help celebrate the December birthdays of our friends at the Anaheim Emergency Shelter tomorrow? Wow, I didn't know that. Now you do. Help us throw a wonderful birthday party tomorrow from 3.30 to 5 p.m. at the shelter. If you'd like to get this party started, speak with Judy Davenport after the service today. We also need help this Thursday, the 15th, at our toy distribution. Help us spread the Christmas cheer to families in our local community by showing up at 7.30 a.m. Thursday morning in the Fellowship Hall. Give Ollie a heads up if you're coming or if you have any questions about how you can help. Ollie, heads up! Later that evening on the 15th at 5.30 p.m. will be our kids music program recital and you're all invited to attend. <laughs> you get to hear from our choir, bucket drums, and beginning brass students. Let's enjoy an evening of Christmas music and cheer on these aspiring musicians. Joy to the world, the Lord has come. Finally, next Sunday the 18th is gonna be a big day for us. We're gonna start the day off right with a fabulous and filling breakfast, starting at 8.30 a.m. in the Fellowship Hall. It would help us tremendously if you could RSVP with me. But sir. Please email or call me by the 16th. That afternoon, we will be needing helpers for our toy distribution, where children and their parents will be coming to pick up their presents. Speak with Ollie to help with this. We're gonna wrap up the 18th with our carols in the courtyard at 5.30 p.m. Join us for caroling, a live nativity scene, and some hot chocolate and treats. Wow, it's gonna, hot chocolate? Yeah, hot chocolate. It's gonna be a great time, so don't miss it. My name is Major Nurse Kisson from the Salvation Army Tustin Ranch, and my wife Cheryl. We are the both pastors, officers, mission leaders here at the Salvation Army Tustin Ranch. And we want to welcome you and encourage you to join us in our services and our programs over this Christmas season. On December 24, we'll be having a special candlelight service. Come and sing carols and hear scripture read talking about when Jesus was born. Then on Christmas morning at 10.30 a.m., we'll worship here together once again, celebrating the birth of Jesus Christ. And as we prepare for the new year, we'll have the Territorial's South Korea Band come and lead us in worship and music as we celebrate the new year commencing at 6 p.m with dinner 7 p.m with a concert and tickets are 30 dollars and then as we bring the new year in on new year's day we want to celebrate and start the year in god's house so come have worship with us here at 10 30 a.m on new year's day christmas is such an exciting time won't you join us you and your family are always welcome at the salvation army we want to wish you a, a Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas and, and a Happy, Happy New Year. Church family, there's a lot of things going on this Christmas season. All of these things are a way of remembering Jesus! The most precious gift of all. Our giving back is a response to how God loved us so much to give us the world this gift of Jesus. Now, we can give in a few different ways at satrgiving.org in the baskets that'll be passed around or in the giving box at the info table. Let's, Let's join, join together, together now, now as we, we give back to God. <laughs>
some of you look uh, fairly comfortable as you're enjoying the music and the presentations today, but we're going to stand if you're able. We're going to sing another Christmas carol, just a couple of verses of It Came Upon the Midnight Clear. There won't be an introduction, we'll just start singing. It's number 111 if you're uh, using the book, but otherwise the words should appear. 100.
Good morning, everyone. It's good to be here in God's house, isn't it? Are you enjoying yourselves? Well, we want to celebrate joy this morning, and I hope that you have been finding joy. For our kids, I don't know if you've noticed, but some elves seem to have escaped. And I have been told that there are three elves on the shelves somewhere in church. And so if you see those elves, you need to come and see Major Nursen or myself or one of your teachers, and we have candy cane rewards for those that find the elves. Well, Christmas for many people is just another day, only a little bit more expensive and maybe a whole lot more trouble. You see, for many people, the focus of Christmas is being given on gifts to be given and trying to keep everybody happy. But Christmas is truly about good news that will bring great joy to all people. It's about God's amazing love. It's about grace. It's about mercy. And Christmas truly is a season to be filled with joy. You see, Jesus, God's son, was born so that we might be saved and live in heaven with him forever. And so today, our message is simply joy. So here's a Christmas message with a difference, a message in song. And it's probably going to be the only time that you hear me sing into a microphone. And so if you know this song... I want you to sing along with me to cover it up, okay? And it's a really simple song that goes, J-O-Y, J-O-Y, this must surely mean Jesus first, yourself last, and others in between. J-O-Y, J-O-Y, this must surely mean Jesus first, yourself last and others in between. Yay. Who recognizes the tune? Jingle bells, that's right. Well, there's truth in those words. You see, joy is like love. It's not merely an emotion, it's an action. It's a decision. And I believe that you can be joyful as you want to be, because it's we're all about where you choose to place your focus. So this Christmas, here's three places to focus your heart and mind from our little song. The first one is Jesus. In the Peanuts Christmas special, Charlie Brown asked if anybody knows what Christmas is about. And Linus recites the story of Jesus' birth from Luke chapter 2. Have we forgotten that Christmas is not primarily about us, our family, our friends, church, or even presents? Christmas is about Jesus. It's so easy for us to get wrapped up in the celebration that we forget what we're supposed to be celebrating. Now, the world helps us do that. It's become politically incorrect to say Merry Christmas. They want us to say Happy Holidays. But even without buying into into the world's way, you can forget about what Christmas is all about by forgetting Jesus. Focusing on Jesus means that you not only remember the Savior in the manger, but you remember the Savior in your heart. Remember that this baby, Jesus, grew up and went to the cross to pay for your sins, that he rose again to give you a new life, and that he lives in your heart today to give you joy. This is what Paul says in Galatians chapter 2 and verse 20. He says this, he says, My old self, who I used to be before, has been crucified with Christ. It's no longer I who live, but Christ who lives in me. So I live in this earthly body, trusting in the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. Not only was Jesus born in Bethlehem, but by faith, And by his spirit, Jesus lives in me. That should fill us with joy. So Christmas is simply Jesus. Secondly, this morning, it's about others. Focusing on Jesus will help us to develop an attitude that brings us joy. Christmas is the time we celebrate the most wonderful gift that Jesus has given us, uh, that God has given us, Jesus. 
And God's purpose in giving Jesus to the world was to show his love for others. And he gave us an example that we too should be willing to follow. Joy doesn't come from getting all we can get from others, but in giving all we can give to others. It is this other's focus that will bring us joy. If you want to know the joy at Christmas, then discover the joy of giving. Jesus said this, he said, whatever you do for the least of these, you do for me. If you want to find joy this Christmas, find someone in need, and in the name of Jesus, give of them of your time and your treasures. There's plenty of lonely, needy people, and you will find them if you're willing to look. And then the Bible says that if you focus on others, you will find joy because you're focusing on them instead of yourself. So it's about Jesus. It's about others. And thirdly, it's about yourself. You see, in encouraging us to focus on Jesus and others, there's a sense in which you need to focus on yourself. You see, your own attitudes determine whether or not you will experience joy at this time of year. You can let worry, stress, unforgiveness and discouragement rob you of the joy of Jesus. Everyone struggles sometimes, but please understand this, attitude is not automatic. You can choose to allow these attitudes to rule you. And so here's some encouragement from the Bible about some difficulties that we all face every day. If you're worried or you're feeling stressed, then in Philippians chapter 4 we find this. Don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Tell God what you need and thank him for all he's done. If you're feeling it's hard to forgive people and you've got, a, you've got an issue with unforgiveness, this is what we read in Ephesians chapter 4. Instead, be kind to each other, tender-hearted, forgiving one another just as God forgave you through Jesus Christ. Maybe you're feeling a little bit discouraged. Well, in 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, we read this. Now may our Lord Jesus Christ himself and God our Father who loved us and by his grace gave us eternal comfort and a wonderful hope comfort you and strengthen you in every good thing you do and say. You see, the fact is you can be full of faith or full of doubt. You can be full of the Spirit's joy or full of the world's despair. This Christmas, I want to encourage you to consider your thoughts. Listen to the words that you are saying. Take a look at your actions and ask yourself, do I have the joy that comes from God or am I floundering in self-pity? You see, you are the only person who can de decide to be joyful this year. Jesus first, yourself last, and others in between. God has a gift for you this Christmas. It's the joy that you unwrap by focusing on Jesus. Don't wait until December 25 to unwrap that gift. I want to encourage you to open it right now and be filled with great joy because Jesus is simply joy. Amen. Jesus is simply joy. It's so good to see you here today. His presence is in this place. And it's such a different way we've seen God speaking to us through music, through different uh, participants. But I would like to sing this song with you, if you will. Would you stand with me? We're going to sing, Oh, come, let us adore him. And as you processing the message you just heard today, let the presence of God just touch your heart. Oh, come, let us adore.
We pray in the powerful name of Jesus right now, Lord. And we are so grateful that we can be together in your house. In the day that we set aside to honor your name, Lord, today, Lord, we, reminded, we are reminded that you were born to die for us. That you died on the cross so we could have joy, abundant joy. We are so grateful for the way you're moving in this place in our lives, Lord. And as we continue in worship, Lord, I just pray that if someone is here today that is carrying burdens, the burden of sin, the burden of mistakes in the past, the burden of addiction, Lord, you know every single heart. But we just pray right now, Holy Spirit, would you just speak? Would you just listen? Would you just meet us where we are at? We pray this in the mighty name of Jesus. We give you the glory. Amen, amen, and amen. You may be seated, and now the band is going to proceed with the ministry song. Us. Have you enjoyed yourselves? Fantastic. Well, the day is not yet over, even though it's raining pretty hard out there. We've got one last time for you to sing a Christmas carol. Do you like to do that? Well, let's sing 
in big voice, song 113, Joy to the World. Hey, this is a good Christmas Why don't you stand with me? You happy to do that? Fantastic. The band will lead us very capably, and you will lead us through great voice. Thank you, Bandmaster. Sunday. I'm so glad that you have been here. And kids, you've done fabulously well. Haven't they done great? You've sung well. You played those Home Depot buckets well. That was great. I enjoyed every moment of it. And you know, let me give you the final benediction this morning. May you be filled with the wonder of Mary, the obedience of Joseph, the joy of the angels, the eagerness of the shepherds, the determination of the Magi, and the peace of the Christ child. Heavenly Father, my prayer this morning is that all across this room, this sanctuary, that each one that have gathered in you may experience the fullness of Christ, the joy of his presence, the blessings of knowing who he is this Christmas season. Lord, I pray that every heart that is broken will find a sense of God's healing and anointing oil. Every spirit that is strained, that they will sense your presence ever so near. So do that now in Jesus' name. Amen? Amen. Well, we're going to sing together. Some of my friends are going to come and join me. We're going to sing we wish you a Merry Christmas, right? Come on, some of the songsters, come and join us. Come on, John, Ruth. You know you want to sing. You want to sing, right? Okay. and dads, we'd love for them to sing in the community choir, which rehearses on the Thursday evening. So if you saw your kids today, felt inspired and said, you know what, I could do that. Well, I'm sure you can. Don't smile at me. I know you want to. So we'd love for you to join us on a Thursday evening while your kids do their things. A little bit later on, the community choir about 7 p.m. There will be refreshments served in our fellowship hall, so you are out of the rain. And next Sunday, we're going to be sharing God's Word again, and it's simply peace. Happy 
and we want to start off with breakfast in the morning. Does anyone know what time is breakfast? 8.30 is breakfast. Free breakfast, Joy. We're serving breakfast at 8.30 and then our normal service at 10.30. We'd love to see you. And then at 5 p.m. that evening, we're going to have our outdoor carol service with a live nativity. You are more than welcome. Invite your family, friends. Bring your neighbors, right? Hey, I love your bow tie, by the way. God bless. Merry Christmas, everyone. Thank you.